Hey guys, I'm going to record a, a tune now called, well, it goes by two names. Um, I learned it originally from the Chieftains as the March from Oscar to Malvina. Uh, I later heard by the band Solus under the name Leslie's March. They played it a lot faster, uh, and it was really one of the first tunes that I'd learned, uh, by, one, by ear, and two, played by a band that was kind of more up-tempo and, and kind of the more modern uh, sound. Uh, I learned it back in the mid to late 90s or so. Uh, so I thought it'd be a cool one for Thursday here. So I'll play it like I usually do and go back and break it down a bit. So three-part jig. So cool little tune. Um, I guess it is probably originally a march, but if you speed it up, it becomes a jig, which is what Solus did. Uh, Chieftains played it much slower. I think it was Chieftain 7, but I'm not positive about that. It's one of the first uh, proper trad albums that I got. Great album, by the way. So I'll kind of go back and break it down, starting with the A part. I'm not going to go through each section kind of phrase by phrase because it's a bit of a long tune. But So here's the basic melody. That's the whole A part all the way through. Hopefully you're hearing some spots where you can throw in some rolls and things like that, but I'll go back and add those here once we're once we're done with the basic melody. So B part, um, here we go. So a lot of re repetition that tune um, with the with the arpeggio kind of things there. And speaking of, in the third part, it does the same thing. So it jumps all the way up to the high B eventually. So here's the third part. Now, ornaments-wise, because it's so repetitive, you know, it's, it's kind of fun to be able to mix it up a little bit and, and try a few different things, maybe the first time through the A part versus the second time, and likewise as you're playing the tune um, more than once. So the beginning... It stays on that top D just to begin the tune. So what I like to do is either do crans or uh, a triplet. So... something like that. You can kind of mix it up either way. And now as I hit that A, I like to do that, uh, that kind of double tap where I'm hitting the, the note and kind of bouncing that top finger off. So as, as you hit it, something like that. And 
And I like that because it just kind of gives it a, a, a pop and kind of a cool, cool part of the tune uh, where it, it kind of accents that beat. So then this, the uh, the B part again also repetitive, or sorry to finish off the a, the second half of the A part is what I mean. So the basic melody is just mostly staying on the E in the beginning of it. So what I would do. So you got a couple of rolls there on the E and then also on the F sharp. A lot of spots for that throughout this tune. There's, there's a lot of places for rolls. Now the uh, the B part, um, the B part starts on the F sharp. So you got a couple things. You can just do a simple tap there to kind of break that up. And I do a slide in the beginning of it. Same kind of thing on the on that other little uh, G chord, I guess it would be. Um, and I do a cut on that just to kind of accent the first part. So that ending line is, is kind of repeat, repeated throughout the tune. So now the C part, uh, because it's all arpeggios, that's kind of your basic melody. I don't really do a whole lot with it, just a couple of cuts here and there. Uh, same thing on the, the second arpeggio, uh, I guess E minor chord. Because it gets so shrill, um, I tend to tongue those and separate those notes. You can play it legato. It just tends to make the whistle crack, at least in my experience. So I do kind of like to break it up um, using breath instead of an ornament or something like that. Uh, that little, um, I don't know what you call that. I guess it's sort of a, a sort of a roll or maybe a half crayon. Uh, So that's what I'm doing. It's it's ba yeah, basically half a crown. It'd be it's these two fingers that I'm. In. I've had people ask me about that before, and I don't think I've ever really kind of broken that down. Uh, just a way to kind of elongate that note a little bit, I think. So, hopefully, you like that tune. It's one that I've been playing now for going on 20 years or so. Uh, it's a cool tune, and uh, check out Solace's version of it and the Chieftain's version of it as well, so you can hear how it's meant to be played. So, if you have any questions, let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.